Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. So just two quick things to mention. The first one I've mentioned in a couple of videos, but it's about Oz Comic Con again. I will be there on the 2nd of July, which is the Sunday. I will leave the links to that in the description below. If you are in Melbourne, that's where it is, and you are interested in going that, going to that, sorry, or if you're already going to it, and I'm just letting you know that I'm going to be there. So yeah, the info will be in the description below. And the other thing to mention is obviously in my last Flash video, I think it was, I started a giveaway. I forgot to mention the announcement uh, date as to when I'll announce that winner. I don't have a specific date, but it will be next week sometime. So a, a video, like a Flash video in the next week or so, that's when I'll announce it. So people were asking, so just keep your eyes and ears out for that. So obviously at the conclusion of the season three finale of The Flash, we saw Central City hit by a storm of sorts caused by the disruption within the Speed Force. And this sees Barry putting himself into the Speed Force as like the logical uh, solution to end it, which it of course does. But due to this, Barry is now gone. Like, Central City no longer has its flash. Sure, we have Wally West left, who could d definitely be able to cover some of what Barry has, you know, been able to do. But, come on, let's be honest, he doesn't really match up to Barry's standards at this stage, just because Barry's, you know, been the Flash for three years, basically, and Wally's, you know, had his speed for a bit, but still isn't 100% sure how to do it, because he's sort of been in Barry's shadow. So, it will be interesting to see how they handle Wally in Season 4, especially at the beginning. But, uh, yeah, don't, I definitely don't think he's going to be able to live up to Barry's standards, and he's going to struggle a bit. But anyway, this has led to a few questions around Barry and the Speed Force, the first of which is, like, when will Barry get out of the Speed Force, which honestly is a more difficult question, as Barry could, like, come out in the first minute of Season 4, or he could pop out in, like, Episode 9 or, you know, the mid-season finale. But the second question is the one we will be going over in the remainder of this video, which isn't much, you know, a much easier one to narrow down when it comes down to, like, the actual answer on the show, and that is, how will Barry escape the Speed Force? So we will go over a few options as to how this could all play out, but as always, feel free to leave your opinions and, you know, comments on the different options as well as any other options you have that I may feel to bring up in the comment section down below because I'm interested to see what you think of my options as well as to what other options you may come up with that I, you know, did not mention. And as always, feel free to leave a like on the video just to show your support for the Flash videos and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Now, the first two of these three options I have involved the Speed Force, like, willingly letting Barry out as a means to help the outer environment of the Speed Force. So, you know, Planet Earth or Central City. I'm just mentioning that now, so I don't mention it at the beginning of the other options. Just, yeah, so that's why I'm mentioning it now. Now, the first option as to how Barry gets himself out of the Speed Force actually involves the event which I mentioned briefly earlier on, which is that storm caused by the disruption within the Speed Force. Now, the showrunners have said that in season four, so the next season, there will be a new cause for the creation of metahumans. So we had like the particle accelerator in seasons one, and that sort of led into season two. And then in season three, we had Dr. Alchemy and his, uh, or the Philosopher's Stone and Savitar doing his thing. Now, this has led many to think that this storm could be that cause as it does resemble the Speed Force storm from the comics. However, how it was worded by the uh, showrunners in question does make it sound that it won't just be speedsters, but other powered metahumans as well. So it's like the Speed Force just, you know, gives them the metahuman powers, but in like the comics, the Speed Force storm created speedsters. So they're twisting it up a little bit. If this were the case and the storm caused by the disruption in the Speed Force was causing the creation of these new metahumans, then it would make complete sense that the Speed Force may let Barry out in order to fix what the Speed Force has technically caused, especially if we do get some rogue speedsters created. So it would be cool if this storm, you know, did create other metahumans, so, you know, different metahumans that we've seen previously on the show, but it also caused some speedsters. Some are good and some are bad, which is, you know, mirroring what happened in the comics, especially, you know, in the, in, uh, the Flash Rebirth, like the DC Rebirth stuff. One important thing to remember, though, when it comes to a new season of the DC TV shows is that they generally begin around, you know, five to six months after the conclusion of the previous season. 
They could change that up come the new seasons, however, seeing that Arrow ended up on a cliffhanger and they could pick up, you know, straight where they left off. So Flash could do the same, just stick on like the same time frame, if you know what I mean. But yeah, as I said, it's generally a six month gap in between. So I think they might stick with that. Even then, we really haven't had it properly explained how like time works in the Speed Force. So it could be six months out in the quote unquote normal world but six years or like six minutes or a couple of seconds in the Speed Force time. So we really don't know how long Barry will be stuck in there in his time. So he could be standing there for like a couple of minutes and then pop out and it's six months later and he's like, oh, that went quick. The second option is that Barry is essentially just, you know, let out of the Speed Force. Pretty simple. As I did just mention, it should be around six months since the conclusion of season three when we pick up at the beginning of season four. So the Speed Force could see that Barry has, you know, served his sentence or has provided enough to the Speed Force in return for his freedom. Because we don't know if he's necessarily going to be the prisoner within the Speed Force prison. There is some con confusion about that. He could be doing some other means or uh, serving another purpose for the Speed Force. Now, I know this does come across as a pretty lame option just for Barry to be let out. Like, oh, the Speed Force just opened the door and it's just like, oh, Barry, off you go. Go home. But it is one that has been tossed up quite a lot by viewers of the show since season three wrapped up and this question of like how Barry would get out of the Speed Force started getting brought up as well. So it does seem like a lame option, but if we see what Barry's been doing within the Speed Force and it makes sense as to why the Speed Force would just, you know, let him out, then I guess it, you know, all makes sense, I guess. And the last option as to how Barry could possibly get out of the Speed Force is probably the one that is most likely going to happen due to how the show is set up. But there is actually a reason as to why it might not happen, which I will delve into after I've gone through it properly, and that is Barry's lightning rod, Iris West. So a lightning rod to a speedster is essentially someone who they are deeply connected to, you know, their loved ones. So in the case of Barry Allen, that is Iris West, and in the comics at least for Wally West, his lightning rod is Linda Park. The purpose of this loved one or lightning rod to a speedster is to like ground themselves or in other words, be able to pinpoint their location, which we have seen happen within the comics numerous times. And I guess some would argue it has happened on the show as well. This also allows them to escape from the speed force and return to a specific point in time by, you know, connecting and locating their lightning rod which will probably be like six to nine months time from the end of season three, just to line up with what we you know, usually see at the beginning of these new seasons. In regards to the setting around why Barry may break out of the Speed Force and be drawn towards Iris is a whole other question itself, but you would have to think it has to do with Iris being in danger, as in she's almost about to die. And I'm pretty sure that happens in Flash Rebirth, like the one from 2000 and whatever it was. I'm pretty sure Reverse Flash is about to kill Iris. And that's what makes Barry connected to her. I'm 99% sure that's what happened. But let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. But yeah, anyway, as I said, that's just my little prediction. I think Iris is going to be in danger or Barry foresees her death or something like that from the Speed Force. Who knows who it could be? It could be Reverse Flash. It could be another whole villain in general. It could be like the villain for the first half of the season. It could be the Thinker, uh, the Thinker sorry, who they've confirmed as a villain. Don't know if they'd go down that track straight away. It could just be one of the new metahumans that's created. But yeah, I think Iris might be in danger if they go down this road with the lightning rod and that's how Barry gets out. Now, I did say there is a reason as to why they might not do the lightning rod thing in regards to how Barry gets out of the Speed Force, sorry. And that's because they sort of did that in season two, not exactly like how it is in the comics, but they did like a version of it when Cisco gets Iris into the Speed Force and Barry's able to get, you know, get connected to her and that's how he gets out. That was essentially the lightning rod moment, but not exactly how I think a lot of people wanted it to play out. So they could do it exactly like it is in the comics and like how Iris has like no play in it. And it's really Barry just getting drawn to her rather than Iris going to the speed force and drawing Barry out. They sort of like flipped it. If you think about it in that season two moment with the lightning rod. So that's a reason as to why they might not do it because they sort of did it in season two, but that season two episode that they did it they sort of flipped it. Like they made Iris going after Barry rather than the other way around. So I guess they're not really going to be copying it or replaying the same thing, but we'd have to wait and see because some people might complain because I guess people like to complain. But anyway, but thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave a like. As I said before, let me know in the comment section down below what do you think of these options? And if you do have another option, which I did not mention, feel free to leave that in the comments section as well. As I've been mentioning over the past, you know, couple of weeks, I guess, since the show's ended, if you do have any uh, suggestions for videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below because I'm open to suggestions from everyone. 
And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.